Welcome to this video lecture. We're going to continue talking about optimization. Specifically, we're going to talk about convexity as well as global versus local optima. In module seven, we showed this optimization problem a few times. We're going to look at this unconstrained optimization problem where you're just trying to minimize this objective function within the bounds where both x0 and x1 uh, vary between 0 and 10. So I won't get deep into the mathematical definition of a of convexity. It, it gets much more complex than this. Uh, but basically in a if you have a convex uh, solution space, it's all very well behaved. In a convex solution space you have one local optima which also serves as your global optima. So here we're plotting that solution space and you can see that it is very well behaved and you can look and just by inspection um, you can see that the optimum is here and you can also see that this is the global optimum. So what your solver is going to try to do if you start here it's going to be um, iterating and at each point it's going to evaluate the objective function as well as the uh, gradient essentially of your objective function. It's going to keep on iterating until you get to this point where the objective function is no longer changing. So once you reach that point if you know that this is a convex problem uh, you, you know that a local optimum is the same thing as a global optimum. This might be more clear when I show what a non-convex problem looks like. So here I'm going to show a non-convex problem where we have this uh, much more linear objective function varying over some different bounds. So here you can actually see two local optima, two points where you can see that the objective function is locally minimized. So those points would be here and here. So your solver may find one or the other depending on, largely depending on your initial guess, but also depending on the type of solver that you have. So uh, you may, uh, for example, if your initial guess is somewhere over here, your solver is going to be following that gradient and eventually lead you to this point, um, which is a local optimum, but it is not the global optimum. And you can see that you can actually reduce the objective function by a pretty dramatically by starting over on this left hand side. So we're going to show you how to deal with this. So there are a number of ways to deal with this. Uh, the simplest solution is to just use an intelligent initial guess. There are there may be some solvers that use what's called a multi-start where you might have a bunch of different initial guesses and then you pick you converge all of those to an optimum and then you pick the best one. There are also global solvers out there. I'm gonna, uh, I've got this problem coded up in Python and I'm just gonna kinda highlight the uh, importance of, of just being aware of this idea of convexity. So um, here we've got our that objective function and solution space plotted and here I'm going to be solving this optimization problem. So my first initial guess, I'm going to start at the origin, which is 0, 0. And so we would expect this to converge toward the optimum on the left. So let's go ahead. I've got this all coded up here, um, defining my objective function here defining my bounds here. Again, we're just solving this as an unconstrained optimization problem, but this also very well could have constraints. Um, this is my initial guess at the origin. Let's go ahead and solve it. So it found a value of the objective function at uh, minus 0 0.89, and it found our x0 is minus 1.43, and our x is uh, x1 is basically 0. I've set up code here to plot this, noting that, so here is where we're plotting that optimal solution that we found. Okay, so this does indeed drive us to this local optimum, which we know from looking at this visually, this is also the global optimum. But let's take another look. Let's uh, maybe have a different initial guess. Let's say we have x0 is 5 and x1 is minus three. So I'm just going to go back up here, change my initial guess to 
uh, I think we had five and we had minus three. So I'll go ahead and hit run. Um, let's look at this optimal solution. So it finds an objective function that is not as good. Uh, it's Here it's coming in at 0 0.008 and this does find an optimal solution of x0 equals 4.27 and um, x1 equals 0. So let's plot that. So indeed because we started here on the right hand side we found this other local optimum. We did not find the global optimum. So this is just to highlight that uh, you may, your optimizer may converge and tell you that it found an optimal solution. And sometimes that local optimum is acceptable, sometimes it's not. So if you can use your intuition uh, to know that it's not uh, the best solution, you may want to do something like uh, have a different um, initial guess. Or you may try to do something where you're, you're running code to start the initial guess at a bunch of different places, see how they converge, and then take the best of those solutions.